Right guys, so welcome to a slightly different um, slightly different reaction and review. We are doing a GTA Online one. This is a car reaction and review. Just a quick uh, showcase of my carriage. Got my big old pickup truck, my classic convertible, my I'm assuming British e sports some classic American and a muscle bike thing but the main event this one the new um, gauntlet classic now instantly I knew what this was actually based on it is based on a Dodge Challenger I think a Dodge Challenger TA mainly because of the type of bonnet that you can get to it um, and the liveries. Now it's pretty much identical um, to the Dodge Challenger um, but we're gonna go take it outside. What's the time on the game? It is 3 in the morning on the game so we're gonna have some difficulties um, but we're gonna have some better opportunities while we're inside with the light get a bit of the interior. Look at that nothing too drastic this is actually my customized version so this is how I decide to do it so no roll cage we will be going through the uh, customization options on it so don't worry too much about that but uh, it's pretty basic classic just how I like it so let's go outside and see what this is like I've already driven this about I haven't driven it in a race um, I've seen some other things. It's not that. F it's not the fastest, so it's probably not going to be a winner. It's more of a um, cruising around, looking cool kind of thing. Um, so, when you do first get it, you will realise that it is a bit slippery. That being, it it does grip to the road. Hang on, I need. A, I'm going to put passive mode on very quickly, just because I know what people like and. If you play GTA, you will know what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, it's quite slippery on the road, so you can get the spoilers to help with that. But the actual, the actual traction of it isn't amazing. So, but then again, it's a muscle car. So um, there are some, you know, like any car in this game, there are some downsides to it. Um, I mean, there's none, there's no proper, like, big downsides to it. These are just more picky things from, on, like, my opinion. Um, one, I mean, I'm kind of growing to like them because of the design and everything, but the rear lights. Now, on the original Dodge Challenger, it's more of a, just two thin strips on either side. Like, you've got one thin strip one side, one thin strip the other, um, which is alright, and it's not too wide. This has four, as you can see there with me braking, um, has four lights. Why Rockstar decided to put four lights on it, I don't know, because obviously, as you can see there, you've got three, you've actually got the indicator on as well. The indicators are on a which I've only just noticed but I'm, I'm guessing what this is if this was real life uh, the very one like on this side the very one on the left would be uh, like the reflective bit the middle one of the indicators and then the right one is the back nighttime lights and obviously then you got the very end one which is the brake lights which kind of have an orange tinge to it so not really sure what they were going with that um, another sort of a picky thing um, the suspension so if you can tell the, the car is quite high up um, I have actually lowered it like all the way so original it's actually higher than this 
but when you have it load all the way down, the front wheels go through the uh, bodywork. So I know it's not a major thing, it doesn't affect anything, that's just a picky thing on my end uh, that I'm not really a great fan about. And the livery I've got on at the moment, amazing, beautiful. Uh, I just wish it stayed solid all the way down to the end, so not fade away. I wish it stayed literally right to the very end and uh, kind of just disappeared following the curve of the car in that section. Um, but other than that, very cool, very nice, very amazing. Um, so we're going to go and check this out in the LS Customs. Got a lot of uh, police around here for some reason. Someone's causing some havoc. So let's have a look and check that. out the customizations. Now, when it comes to muscle cars and me, you don't want to go with standard colours. You want to go with quite bizarre because you know it's a muscle car. It's classic. It's not meant to look normal. Um, so we'll get to the paint jobs in a minute. And I'll go through some of good ones with you. But obviously, as standard, you got well, you got 26 options of customizations. As standard, you got the armor, fully upgraded, brakes, blah blah blah. So front bumpers, you have the stock, which is just a standard chrome, uh, bolted stock, which again is a stock chrome, but with t with some little bolts on it, strapping them on. Then you got the primary, which is, is the primary color bumper stock. Uh, then twin wedge splitter, which is the chrome bumper with two splitters either side with a little gap down the middle. And then muscle wedge split, which is exactly the same, just minus in that little gap in the middle. So, depending on what you're going for, depends on the type you want. And the rear bumpers, pretty simple, standard. The bolted standard. Uh, bolted stock with overriders which is in little uh, bits on the bottom and then you got primary color so standard there chassis you got stock uh, roll cage which goes with the secondary color option um, roll cage with carbon seats so you get to change your seats there and then you got different types of seats so again depending on what you're going for then the engines exhaust stock Titanium, um, and I'm not going to try and pronounce that. Then boxed, uh, and then you got side ones as well. Um, a good thing about the side ones actually is how it's got the ones on the back. You got the little gaps on the bottom of the car. When you go on the sides, it actually gets rid of them gaps, so you don't get the annoying little just random empty spaces, which is pretty cool. Um, so you got two different side ones there. Normally I would go for that, but I'm not a huge fan of it on this car, I don't know why. Um, so I've gone for this. Explosives, we don't want any explosives on there. Um, what's this? Front fenders, got that. Stock, which is nothing, or um, gauntlet vents, which is three little chrome on uh, either side. The grill, stock, primary colour grill, secondary colour grill. Another primary colour which doesn't have a little bit in the middle. Then again secondary with the same. And then the com competition. Which if you don't know what these are. The little black bits where the lights are. Actually go down when you turn the lights on. Which I think is pretty cool. Um, it definitely does work if you're going to have a full matte black. Um, which I have done. I, But I wasn't a great fan of it. I, I don't really think it worked. For me anyway. Then the hoods, stock hoods, you get the standard with the black air intake at the top. Um, then the snorkel hood, which is just the same, just with that bit. Then you've got the carbon version. Uh, then ridge line, which is a slight incline bump. And then carbon, twin intake, then carbon. Uh, deep insert hood, and then carbon. And then dual filter blower and then just the other ones and then I don't know what the point is with this I don't like with the end with the hood not on kinda takes away from the car so 
Eh, lights, you know where the lights are. Liveries, right. Okay, so we have no liveries whatsoever. So, it. Really? Wow. I'm in here trying to do this, and then I get taken. Ugh. Right, well, guys, it looks like we're going to have to go to another LS Customs. Fantastic. And this guy is now going to follow me, isn't he? How did they... Why did my... Why did my game get affected by that? I don't understand that. Why did my game get affected by him doing that? So that means now I have to go and drive to another LS Customs. <sighs> this is why I went in passive mode because oh god I don't want to get damaged. Don't no don't damage me. Oh that is yeah. No. That no, that is just BS. Yeah, you fly away, mate. Fine, shall I go away? That you mate, the police crashed into me. I'm sorry. They hit me. I was trying to avoid all of that. I didn't want to get involved, but for some reason the police decided, oh you know what, this guy looks shifty, he's in a muscle car, let's get him involved in all of this. What can right. the best mechanic in LS do for you? Let's try and continue that, shall we? Because, you know, guaranteed. we're trying to do something here, and that doesn't help. Right, liveries, so none at all, depending on the colour, depends on how it looks. Then the black bravado, which is the one I've got. Like I said, I wish it stayed solid down till the end, but it doesn't. Uh, then you've got white 445, which is just like a just your, your, a basic racing livery, like racing civilian car livery. Then you've got black twin stripes, which puts two black thin stripes down the middle, and also on the hood, but we can't see it on this because of the hood. Uh, then the exact same but in white then um, air cav which is kind of a military styled thing like a mili military styled plane type one with the teeth on the front um, Nak Nakota Nak Nakota Nakota I think which again kind of metal bolts and everything uh, the redwood Cigarettes racing livery, so if you want to go for a, a classic old timey um, NASCAR look, go with that. Uh, hot shot, which standard flames down the middle. Uh, ridged rocket, which again is a kind of racing minus in a number. Yeah, minus in the number. Uh, then true patriot, which if you're going to go for the um, the full-on American, then you go for that. Uh, the plates, nah, rear fenders. So you got nothing, you got one, or you have two. Again, depending on what type you're going for. Uh, then the resprays. So I have it as Sunrise Orange at the moment, which I think goes very nice with it. Um, some other colours that go good. Yellow depending on how you put it, and then race yellow some of them um, so that doesn't look too bad but again it depends what colours you'd put the secondary and everything um, what else have we got, there is, where is it, where is it, where is it because I haven't unlocked it yet, I need to clear two more stunt jumps lime green a very nice one for a muscle car, a very classic muscle car anyway. White doesn't look too bad in white. Obviously then you got the black, which that's what it, vaguely that's what it would look like if it was all that colour. So uh, silver it looks alright but it's not brilliant for it. Then red I would suggest going with grace red just because it's slightly darker. Um but yeah, but I think for me personally, I think orange is best, just because 
I don't know, it just look I just love it. It looks nice. Right, roof. So you got the stock roof, which stock wise comes with secondary colour. Then primary sun uh, sunstrip. So you got the secondary roof colour with the primary colour sunstrip, then you got the secondary colour sunstrip, then the primary secondary colour roof with these things on the back which I don't actually know what they are for primary roof colour which is what I've got then your vinyl roof colour which again I think depends on the type of car you're going for then secondary roof with secondary sun strip with the bits on the back again primary roof with primary sun strip with the bits on the back and vinyl roof with secondary sun strip with things on the back so there's quite a few uh, variations of that there. The um, uh, well, the skirts we got the standard chrome, custom chrome, primary custom skirt, secondary custom skirt, ridged skirt, primary ridged, secondary ridged, and competition skirt. So we got some there. Spoilers, zilch which as you can see by the stats does affect the traction quite a bit um, so we got this one just you know your standard standard one then you got one with a little bit in it missing which again depends what you're going for uh, low level spoiler quite nice you got primary color of it and the secondary color of it then the bolted one which is your NASCAR kind of themed one then you got your, your your big boy spoiler primary coloured, and then the secondary coloured. I see a lot. Of, I'm guessing there's going to be a lot of people with this one just because it's just so bizarre. Right, suspension. As you can see, that's how high it normally is, which is very. It's really high, if you say so. If you, if I'd say, to be honest. But I've had it. Lo I lower it just because I don't like it that high up. I think I think it looks weird. Traction, turbo, you know all that. Wheels. Now, if you're going to go for a good style on this, you're going to want to go with the muscle car section when it comes to the rims and chrome. It just looks better with chrome muscle car rims because that's the original. You can't change them, which I honestly really sucks because some of the tyres that come with stock rims do look much better. Um, you can't change them unfortunately, I wish you could. I wish you could at least put the writing on the side. Um, but rims I think go good with this. This one... Uh, that one doesn't look too bad. That one's nice. I think that one works better with the Dukes, to be honest. That one, I've seen some pictures on Google of the um, Dodge Challenger with them kind of rims but blackened. Um, them old school ones will go go good, and I've got the L Jeffa Jeff. I don't know, uh, but it all depends what you're going for. I guarantee I'm going to see people with rims like that on it, and be like, "Why? Why are they on it? They are not for that car." It's just it will hurt me, and obviously the windows you know of. So that's all the customizations. Going through them just now I realized there is no um, wheel bar to put on the back for the wheelies. Because it does do a wheelie, it is a muscle car. So it has got the the newly now iconic muscle car thing. There it is. I'm on a hill so it doesn't really work on it. There we go. To get a good one you want to, depending on how high it goes, you want to press the handbrake a little hard just so it doesn't go all the way up like that, there you go, look at that I mean, if you time it well you get a good one um, the lights have got a nice little thing going on when you turn the lights on, they don't instantly come on watch this they have a slow dimming well a slow intensity thing and also very nicely done the lights at the bottom turn on as well, which I just love, because no Rockstar, them bottom lights would not have come on. 
they would have just brightened up the main lights, but I think that looks awesome how they've done that. Um, my honest opinion on driving it, yeah, it has got its downfalls like any other car, but it's not horrible. Uh, if you know, I'm not saying I'm the greatest driver in the world, but if you're a good driver and you know what you're doing, you can you know, tame it. It's not untamable, it's not a monster, it's not menacing, it's not a beast. Um, it's just if you're not that, if you know you're not that great with driving, I wouldn't have this as your go-to vehicle for a casual whatever. And I think there is a car meet going on over here, so I might go and, I've got passive mode on, I might go and see what's happening. There's police, so I'm not... Okay, there's not a car meet over here, they are going ham on everything. Uh, okay, well they just disappeared. Um, right. I'm gonna... Okay, I'm gonna go, I did it. Okay, okay, I'm getting shot at now. I thought this was car meet, but apparently not. So I'm gonna go before I somehow die. Because I guarantee I would. Um, but yeah, overall, I love the car, I love how it looks. My windows have been broken somehow, even though I'm in passive mode. I don't understand this game and its physics, it confuses me. Um, but, it's, it's not horrible. Like I said, it is a bit slippery. I haven't really used it in a race yet, because trying to get onto a, um, a public um, stunt race for the of cars is quite difficult, because I think there's only two, so, yeah, and like I said, I'm not the greatest driver in the world, um, but that will bring us to an end to this reaction and review on the gaming edition. Um, if you want to see, I'm probably going to do more of these anyway, just because, you know, I do YouTube for the fun of it, not because I need to, because I want to, and I enjoy it. Um, but, if you enjoyed this, please leave a like, and comment, if you do play GTA, comment your, um, your favourite car, why, and what car it's based off of, um, and if you want to, comment your gamer tag. I do have a crew on this. Oh, that drift. Um, yeah, I do have a crew on this, and it's not for. It's for people who just want to, you know, like me, just want to drive around, do this kind of thing, drive around, have fun, not have to go on passive mode, and don't have to worry about um, people blowing you up. Because look, if I was in, if I was in passive mode, Guarantee someone in an oppressor would come and kill me. So, yeah, if you want to join a crew that is just for, you know, just having a mess around, having some fun, doing some races, just casual driving, maybe the occasional meet up now and again, bringing your favourite cars, then please by all means either give me a message in the comments below or add your gamer tag. And then I'll give you a message on there just to see. And then, yeah. I mean, anyone who adds me, I will send an invite to the crew anyway. If you accept it, you do. If you don't, you don't. It'll be that fast. Um, but yeah, hope you all enjoyed. I very much did. And I will see you. Wow, that just got in the way. Hold on, I need to get this good for a good end. And I will see you. No, wait for it. I will see you. No. I will see you. I'm trying to. Right, hold up. I will see you. Oh, that was going to be brilliant. Hold on. Next time. Peace out.